Top 25 Siemens Interview Questions and Answers In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by Siemens. Understanding these questions can significantly enhance your preparation and boost your confidence on interview day. We will also provide detailed answers and insights to help you articulate your skills effectively. This guide aims to equip you with the knowledge needed to succeed in securing a position at Siemens. 1. Why do you want to work at Siemens? I am drawn to Siemens because of its commitment to innovation and sustainability. The company's focus on creating solutions that address global challenges aligns with my personal values and career aspirations. I admire Siemens' leading role in digitalization and automation, which I believe are crucial for the future of various industries. Additionally, the opportunity to work alongside talented professionals in an environment that fosters continuous learning excites me. I am eager to contribute to projects that have a positive impact on society while advancing my skills in cutting-edge technologies. 2. Tell me about yourself. I am a dedicated professional with a strong background in engineering and technology. I graduated with a degree in electrical engineering and have gained valuable experience working on diverse projects that involve innovative solutions. My passion lies in developing efficient systems and collaborating with cross-functional teams to achieve common goals. Outside of work, I enjoy staying updated with industry trends and engaging in community service. I believe my technical skills, combined with my enthusiasm for continuous learning, make me a suitable candidate for the role at Siemens. 3. What do you know about Siemens and its products? Siemens is a global technology company known for its innovations in various sectors, including automation, digitalization, and electrification. It operates in multiple industries such as healthcare, transportation, energy, and manufacturing. Key products include the Siemens Healthineers for medical technology, Siemens Mobility for transportation solutions, and Siemens Digital Industries for automation and software solutions. The company focuses on sustainability and smart infrastructure, aiming to create intelligent solutions that enhance quality of life while promoting environmental responsibility. 4. How do you stay motivated at work? Staying motivated at work involves setting clear goals and regularly reviewing my progress toward achieving them. I find that breaking larger tasks into smaller, manageable steps helps maintain focus and provides a sense of accomplishment. Collaborating with colleagues also plays a significant role, sharing ideas and supporting each other keeps the work environment dynamic and engaging. Additionally, I seek out opportunities for professional development, whether through training or learning new skills, as this fosters a sense of growth and keeps my enthusiasm high. 5. Where do you see yourself in 5 years? In 5 years, I envision myself taking on more leadership responsibilities within Siemens, contributing to innovative projects that drive the company's success. I aim to deepen my expertise in emerging technologies, particularly in areas aligned with Siemens' vision. I also hope to mentor junior team members, fostering a collaborative environment that encourages growth and creativity. By continuously enhancing my skills and expanding my knowledge, I aspire to play a pivotal role in strategic initiatives that not only benefit the company but also align with my career aspirations. 6. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include strong analytical skills, effective communication, and adaptability. I excel at problem-solving in high-pressure situations and can quickly understand complex concepts. My ability to collaborate with diverse teams has helped me achieve project goals efficiently. As for weaknesses, I tend to be overly critical of my own work, which can lead to spending more time on tasks than necessary. I've been working on this by setting clearer deadlines for myself and seeking feedback from peers to gain perspective and improve my time management. 7. Why should we hire you? I bring a unique combination of technical expertise and a strong passion for innovation. My background in engineering, along with hands-on experience in project management, allows me to contribute effectively to your team. I am dedicated to continuous learning, which keeps me on the cutting edge of industry trends. Additionally, my collaborative nature fosters positive relationships, ensuring seamless teamwork. I am committed to driving results and enhancing productivity, aligning perfectly with Siemens' mission of creating a sustainable future through advanced technology. My proactive approach and adaptability make me an ideal fit for your organization. 8. How did you come to know about Siemens? I first learned about Siemens during my university studies, where I came across the company's innovative contributions in engineering and technology. Later, while researching potential employers, I discovered Siemens' commitment to sustainability and digitalization. By attending industry conferences and networking events, I had the opportunity to meet Siemens representatives who shared insights about the company's culture and projects. This interaction deepened my interest in Siemens, as I realized its alignment with my professional values and aspirations in the tech industry. 9. Who is your role model and why? My role model is Elon Musk. His relentless pursuit of innovation and his ability to challenge the status quo inspire me. Musk's vision for a sustainable future, exemplified by his work with Tesla and SpaceX, demonstrates the impact of determination and creativity. He embodies qualities such as resilience and adaptability, which are crucial in today's fast-paced world. Additionally, his approach to problem-solving encourages me to think outside the box and embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. 
His influence motivates me to strive for excellence in my own career. 10. Are you willing to relocate? Yes, I am willing to relocate for the right opportunity. I understand that flexibility can be essential in today's work environment, especially in a global company like Siemens. Relocating would allow me to better contribute to projects and collaborate with teams across different locations. I believe that immersing myself in a new environment can lead to personal and professional growth. I am eager to embrace new challenges and experiences that come with relocating, as I see them as opportunities to expand my skills and network. 11. What can you contribute to this company? I bring a unique blend of technical expertise and interpersonal skills that can enhance team dynamics and project outcomes. My background in software development allows me to contribute high-quality code and innovative solutions. I have experience in agile methodologies, enabling me to adapt quickly to changing requirements and collaborate effectively with cross-functional teams. Additionally, my strong problem-solving abilities will help in addressing challenges proactively. I am committed to continuous learning, which means I can stay ahead of industry trends and implement best practices that can benefit Siemens as it evolves. 12. How do you handle conflicts between team members? When conflicts arise between team members, I prioritize open communication and active listening. I encourage each person to express their perspectives, ensuring that everyone feels heard and respected. Once all viewpoints are understood, I facilitate a discussion to find common ground and identify solutions that address the concerns of both parties. If necessary, I may involve a neutral third party to mediate. My goal is to foster a collaborative environment where conflicts can be resolved constructively, allowing the team to refocus on our objectives and work effectively together. 13. Describe a time when you had to solve a complex problem. In my previous role as a software engineer, I was tasked with optimizing a legacy application that was experiencing significant performance issues. After analyzing the code, I identified that outdated algorithms were causing bottlenecks. I collaborated with my team to brainstorm solutions and implemented a more efficient algorithm that reduced processing time by 30%. This not only improved user satisfaction but also lowered server costs. The experience taught me the importance of teamwork and innovative thinking when tackling complex challenges. 14. What's your experience with Agile methodologies? My experience with Agile methodologies includes working in cross-functional teams where we adopted Scrum and Kanban practices. I have participated in daily stand-ups, sprint planning, and retrospectives, which helped in fostering collaboration and transparency. I emphasize iterative progress through regular feedback loops, allowing for continuous improvement and adaptability to changing requirements. Additionally, I have utilized tools such as Jira for tracking tasks and managing backlogs, ensuring that the team remains aligned and focused on delivering high-quality results within set timelines. This approach has enhanced team productivity and customer satisfaction. 15. How do you prioritize tasks when working on multiple projects? When managing multiple projects, I start by assessing the urgency and importance of each task. I often utilize a priority matrix to categorize tasks based on deadlines and their impact on project goals. Communication with team members is crucial. I regularly check in to align priorities and adjust as necessary. Additionally, I break down larger tasks into smaller, manageable steps, which allows for more consistent progress. Using project management tools helps keep everything organized and enables me to track deadlines effectively while remaining adaptable to changing circumstances. 16. Can you explain the difference between IPv4 and IPv6? IPv4, or Internet Protocol version 4, uses a 32-bit address scheme allowing for about 4.3 billion unique addresses. This limitation has led to exhaustion of available IPv4 addresses. In contrast, IPv6, or Internet Protocol version 6, utilizes a 128-bit address scheme, vastly expanding the address space to approximately 340 undecillion unique addresses. This ensures that every device connected to the internet can have a unique address. IPv6 also includes enhancements such as improved security features and simplified address configuration, which are not present in IPv4. These advancements are crucial as the number of internet-connected devices continues to grow rapidly. 17. What do you know about SDLC phases? The Software Development Lifecycle, SDLC, consists of several key phases, including planning, analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. In the planning phase, project goals and requirements are established. The analysis phase involves gathering detailed requirements and feasibility studies. During the design phase, system architecture and interface design are created. The implementation phase focuses on coding and building the software. Testing ensures the product meets requirements and is free of defects. Deployment involves releasing the software to users, followed by maintenance to address issues and implement updates as needed. 18. How would you approach refactoring legacy code? Refactoring legacy code requires a careful and systematic approach. First, I would establish a set of automated tests to ensure existing functionality remains intact during the refactoring process. Next, I would analyze the codebase to identify areas that require improvement, such as complex logic or outdated libraries. 
Prioritizing smaller, manageable chunks of code helps minimize risks. Throughout the process, I would document changes and maintain clear communication with the team. This ensures that everyone is aligned and aware of modifications, ultimately leading to a more maintainable and efficient codebase. 19. Describe your experience with cloud technologies. My experience with cloud technologies spans several years, where I have worked extensively with platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. I have deployed applications using containerization tools such as Docker and orchestration tools like Kubernetes. My focus has been on leveraging cloud services for scalability, cost efficiency, and improved collaboration. I have also implemented CI, CD pipelines using cloud services, ensuring seamless integration and delivery of code. This hands-on experience has equipped me with the skills to design, deploy, and manage cloud-based solutions effectively. 20. How do you ensure code quality in a large project? Ensuring code quality in a large project involves several key practices. First, implementing code reviews is essential. Having peers review each other's code helps catch issues early and promotes knowledge sharing. Next, using automated testing tools to run unit tests and integration tests ensures that code changes do not introduce bugs. Consistency in coding standards across the team is critical. Adopting style guides helps maintain uniformity. Continuous integration and continuous deployment, CI, CD, pipelines facilitate automated testing and deployment, allowing for quicker feedback loops and reducing the risk of defects in production. 21. What strategies do you use for debugging complex systems? When debugging complex systems, I employ a systematic approach. First, I reproduce the issue to understand its context. Next, I isolate components to narrow down the source of the problem. Using logging and monitoring tools helps me gather data while analyzing the system behavior. I also leverage version control to track changes and identify potential culprits. Collaborating with team members can provide fresh perspectives, making it easier to pinpoint the issue. Conducting thorough tests after fixes ensures that the solution is effective and that no new problems are introduced. 22. How do you stay updated with the latest technological trends? Staying updated with the latest technological trends involves a combination of strategies. I regularly read industry blogs and journals, such as TechCrunch and Wired, to gain insights into emerging technologies and their applications. Attending webinars and conferences allows me to learn from experts and network with peers. I also participate in online forums and communities where professionals discuss innovations and share knowledge. Additionally, I take relevant online courses to deepen my understanding of new tools and methodologies, ensuring that I remain competitive in my field. 23. Describe a situation where you had to make a critical technical decision. In a previous project, we faced a significant performance issue where the application was lagging during peak usage. After analyzing the situation, I had to decide whether to optimize the existing code or refactor it entirely. I gathered input from team members and consulted performance metrics. Ultimately, I chose to refactor the code, implementing a more efficient algorithm that improved response time by 30%. This decision not only resolved the immediate issue but also enhanced the application scalability for future growth. The team learned valuable lessons about code maintainability and performance optimization. 24. How do you handle tight deadlines without compromising quality? Managing tight deadlines requires strategic planning and effective communication. I prioritize tasks by assessing their impact on the project goals and breaking them down into manageable segments. I leverage tools and techniques like agile methodologies to enhance collaboration and transparency within the team. Regular check-ins help address any blockers quickly, ensuring we stay on track. While maintaining quality is paramount, I also remain flexible, adjusting my approach as needed to meet deadlines. Keeping an open line of communication with stakeholders allows for realistic expectations and adjustments when necessary. 25. Do you have any questions about joining Siemens? I appreciate the opportunity to ask questions. I would like to know more about the onboarding process for new hires at Siemens. Understanding how the company supports new employees in their initial weeks would be helpful. Additionally, I am curious about the team dynamics within my potential department and how collaboration is encouraged. Lastly, what are the key performance indicators for success in this role, and how does Siemens support employee growth and career advancement? Any insights would be greatly appreciated. In preparing for a Siemens interview, understanding the key questions and crafting thoughtful answers is essential to showcasing your skills and fit for the role. The insights shared in this video will equip you with the knowledge needed to navigate the interview process confidently. Remember to practice your responses and align them with Siemens values and expectations. If you found this video helpful, Please like it and subscribe for more valuable content to aid you in your career journey.